Okay, so for number five, 75 over three to two thirds. I'm gonna use order of operations. So I'm gonna get 25 to the two thirds. Three goes in 75, three, 25 times. And then I'm gonna take it back to radical form. So that means I have 25 times 25, which is five squared times five squared. Bring this back together, five to the fourth, but it's still underneath the cube root. So then it becomes five to the four thirds. This right here is an acceptable answer. I'm gonna, find, I'm gonna simplify it more. Three goes into four, so three goes into four one time with the remainder of one. So five goes outside the radical. So it was a cube root and then the one goes inside with the base of five. So this is the correct answer or this right here could be the correct answer. Okay, for number six, the area of a quadrilateral is base times height. So the area is six r to the fifth when the base is six r to the first, what is the height? So area equals base times height and I'm looking for the height. I know my base is six R to the first. I know my area is six R to the fifth. So since this is my formula, I'm looking for height, which is right here. This is multiplication. So I'm gonna say six A equals base times height. I'm gonna divide both sides by the base, so then I get height equals area divided by base. So that means I'm gonna take my area right here and divide it by my base. So H will equal six R to the fifth divided by six R to the first. Now I reduce, so this goes away, and I'm left with H equals R to the fifth, R to the first. I'm gonna subtract the one, so I have R to the fifth minus one. This is still H, and H equals R to the fourth. Now if I check my answer, height times base, area equals six R to the first times R to the fourth is gonna give me six R to the fifth. So then my area matches each other. Number seven, what is the area of a square where S is equal to X minus five cubed? So this whole side is equal to X minus five cubed. So we should remember that the area of a square is going to be side squared, which is equal to S times S. I know that S equals X minus five to the third so I'm gonna multiply this times itself twice, which is going to be x minus five to the third times x minus five to the third. So the bases are the same. That means that we're gonna add the exponents. So that means I have x minus five, three plus three, because the bases are the same, we add the exponents. So x minus five to the sixth equals area. And that's your solution. For the next one, um, this is pretty simple. So you're gonna need to remember on this one that when you have the square root of say the letter A, it's equivalent to A to the one half power. So 
think of it like that. That's what you want to remember. And then if you have, let's say, B to the one half power, to get B on its own, you're going to square it, so then that would equal B. Okay, so just zoom in. So you're saying that A is equal to square root of A, which is also equal to A to the one half. And then you're saying that B is equal to 2A to the one half, which is also equal to the square root of 2A. So in this problem, I'm going to go ahead and use this right here. So remember it's a square root because it has an index of 2. But we don't call it a square root because we already know it's a square because that means 2. So we're going to say the square root of a squared plus the square root of 2a squared equals c squared. But in my problem, I'm looking for c. So this is going to become a plus 2a equals c squared. So that's 1a plus 2a equals 3a equal to c squared. I'm going to square root both sides so I can get c. So you're going to say c equals the square root of 3a. And that's my solution.